Hello friends, my name is Bhushan. In this video, I will show you how to use combo box or a drop down list in Java Sphinx. So without wasting our time, let's flip to NetBeans IDE. So go to your design view of JFrame form. And from the palette, take one combo box and take one label and change the text of your label. I'm gonna name it country and give a variable name to your combo box. I'm gonna name it CMB underscore country and click OK. Now let's see how to add items to these combo box. So select this combo box and go to the properties menu and in the properties menu there is a one property called model. So select that model and here we add our items so I'm gonna add some country names so India America Canada and China click OK and save it and run your project check it out the items are added successfully or to our combo box. Now let's see how to add these items to our MySQL database using a Java code. So close this forum and first of all let's create a one more column in our MySQL database. So go to your MySQL database and go to the structure and here uh, there is a add one column option. So the MySQL will ask where you want to add the column. So at the end of the table or at the beginning of the table or after any specific column name. So I just want to add at the end of the table. So check this radio button and click go. So now give a column name. I'm gonna give it as country and which is of type varchar and which is of length 20 and click save. So just now we created the one more column that is country. Now let's write our Java code. So go to your uh, NetBeans IDE and uh, here go to design view and just double click this save button. So in this save button we return a code for insert operation. So in this query just add one more column name that is country so after the column name age put a comma and give her a new column name so country and in the values part give one more question mark and now above your pst dot execute statement let's add one more statement that is pst dot set string and here the first parameter is a parameter index so here the country parameter index is 4 because the ID is 1 the name is 2 the age is 3 and the country is 4 so the parameter index is 4 and the SQL that is string X parameter is the combo box name that is CMB underscore country and dot here we don't use get text In, instead of get text we use get selected item so because we want to grab the item from the combo box so we use get selected item so actually there is a one more method called get selected index uh, I will show you I will tell you where we use get selected index in our later videos for now just remember uh, we have to use get selected item so get selected item so which is of object type so we need to convert it to, to string format so for that put a dot and convert it to, to to string so now let's save and run our project connection has been established click OK and ID name age and the country name America and click save 
so record has been stored successfully so let's check it out whether the records are stored successfully or not in our database so go to your mysql database and refresh and go to the browse option and check it out the items are the values are stored successfully as we expected so thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video